Hi, I'm Rochelle, and there are often instances where multiple divisions and units work together on a case. Here is just one example of how we do that. Uh, members of uh, 52 Division received a call for a stabbing. Um, we attended, uh, and along with members of our Forensic Identification Services Unit, uh, did a detailed uh, investigation. We were able to uh, locate video surveillance from uh, neighboring units, and the suspect was later identified. Um, members of the Community Response Unit 52 Division assisted and uh, they were able to determine the suspect's last known address. Uh, this address was in 13 Division. Um, they liaised with staff and informed that the suspect was wanted. Uh, the suspect returned a short time later and uh, staff at that location contacted police immediately and uh, 13 Division attended. Uh, myself and numerous units from 13 responded. I observed uh, a male matching the suspect description leaving the location. Upon observing me, the suspect immediately fled. A short foot pursuit ensued, uh, at which point the male ran between two buildings and jumped over a back fence. A perimeter was set up utilizing units from 13 as well as 12 and 52 major crime who were on their way until the arrival of K-9. Upon arrival, uh, I started working Rookie to the uh, last known location where the suspect was. I began tracking through backyards and uh, eventually Rookie led me to a uh, garage. The suspect had managed to uh, lock himself inside the garage. We attempted to negotiate with him and during the subsequent interaction, uh, the male was apprehended and taken into custody. Thank you for watching another episode of How We Do It TPS.